seen Sean years ago in a conference room at a hotel on 280 for a, a small group of people, sat on a bar stool and played for probably about 20 people. And when I heard him play the guitar, it was amazing. It was almost like three people were playing this one guitar. He was all over up and mm. down it. So he's a phenomenal guitarist, and then whatever he decides to play, is going to be great. No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Especially not really. He was doing flips. And <laughs> it was amazing. The back flip at the end is yeah. just outstanding. Yeah. <laughs> the church that I uh, met God at and, um, and went on. And so I lived there and I, I was just in my room and uh, I wrote this. And uh, It's just kind of about the constant struggle of, of um, a different, a life that we're not supposed to live and a life we're supposed to live in. And I called it gravity because um, I feel like um, gravity is this, is this thing that, you know, like we all identify with because we all deal with it every day. It holds us to the ground. When I read like the scriptures and I read about like the, what our life, what God is supposed to look like, it um, you know like in Isaiah it talks about you know like when we you know wait upon God and, and, and rely on His strength, we should be like an eagle that flies and soars, and, and our Christian walk with Him should be a little different than than what it, what it is with with um, ourselves and stuff. So, anyways, I, I just thought that gravity is kind of like it's what holds us from really experiencing God the way we're supposed to experience. That's kind of where this song came from, and it's an oldie, but it's, it's, it's a good one, so anyways, uh, here it goes. Is it this word? I'm coming no home. Let me go home, let me fly by. Taking this tour out of my soul, cause I know what I need. Let's 
Subscribe.